Hello Aquarius, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. This is for April 4th through the 10th. April 4th through the 10th for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'll be using the Celtic Cross spread and I'm going to ask you what important thing are you dealing with or what does the universe want you to know for next week? Situations. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. One more. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 4th through the 10th, Celtic Cross spread. Okay. A lot about, I have uh, a lot of water and a lot of air as well. I, I do have the pentacles. So there is a situation here about logic and feelings. You're dealing with a ten of swords. This is, this is the worst over. There's been a lot of overthinking, a lot of anxiety, and now it's like, it's like, I don't know if this is you or the person you're dealing with, because the Queen of Cups is coming here holding, um, you know, that emotion very closely to her or his chest. But it's after a situation here of ending, after a chapter closing here, a painful, painful chapter here. But again, the Ten of Swords, the situation is like you already feel like, is this over? The Queen of Cups is coming here embracing love. Whatever has happened, whatever this scenario is like, you know something? Love is it's going to be the answer. Or whatever this painful situation. I, I feel like the Queen of Swords is done with the overthinking, is done with this worst scenario, and it's just holding on very tightly to our feelings. Again, with the world, there's a chapter closing here. This is happening, or you and this person are from a distance, but I feel like this is finally I can wrap up this situation. Um, you know, I'm ready to graduate. I'm ready to go to the next step in my life. These two tens is what you have dealt recently with this person, or you are the person, or you had to wrap something up here. The page of cups recently here, or in the recent past, tells me that this has been an emotion that has kind of develop this new beginning or this wanting to express is like with that is just someone is looking at that um cup and is feeling like is this the emotions do i let it grow remember the queen of cups has already kind of embraced it because it's coming as growth but in the recent past it was that initiation trying to understand the feeling trying to go for it trying to listen to their intuition and developing something now it's like with the ten of swords something ended here there's still though someone understood true love someone understood here that hey this was not just you know something small my heart is really overwhelmed here uh in this case even if you know certain things the timing was not right the way you're thinking at this situation aquarius is like i don't know what to do again because you are torn here when it comes to these emotions and when it comes to your logic you know that whatever has been developed is true so you feel like i don't know which way to go i don't know what to decide i don't know what to do i'm at crossroads and probably i'm going to stay here in crossroads and wait that's what you think is going to be possible outcome between these two energies but it's interesting because it's very much in sync the immediate situation that is coming towards you and what the out outcome i'm sorry the, I was going to say the potential outcome. The outcome is going to come. The Three of Cups is saying that there's going to be some type of good news. There's going to be some type of celebration, reunion, happiness that is coming in. No, you are not going to be left at crossroads. And this gives you hope. You're going to see yourself as very hopeful. The star, which represents you. Um, so it's going to be a turnaround here from whatever painful situation you have to have to deal with external to you though be mindful uh, and i feel like this is how you think you have to deal with people around you or if this is your 
person they are very afraid to open up with the four of pentacles is someone that i'm gonna hold on to my stability i'm gonna hold on to what is mine i don't want to let go but is afraid of growth is afraid to open up again it may be you with other people or externally here how you see things but be aware that there is a fear of growth there is uh, also a situation that I'm going to just hold on right now to what I possess. You're hoping that there's going to be progress. You're hoping here with the Eight of Pentacles that, uh, you know, with time, with improvement, with the mastering here, everything is going to be fine after, you know, that painful situation. You're going to find yourself taking actions towards love, you or your person, because the Knight of Cups is saying that, hey, this is no crossroad. In the end, again, the heart will speak here, which I, I'm getting a lot about uh, Aquarius always that I, I tell you guys in the end, always the, the Knight of Cups comes here or the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups. Always you guys have some type of cups. Um, and some of your readings lately have been a little bit painful with the Three of Swords. Uh, but he's saying in the end, actions towards love. Love will prevail. That That's what's happening here. And it's because, again, of this good news and it's because of uh, your attitude here with the star hoping, looking at it as very hopeful. I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> Probably I'm hungry too. I need to, to have lunch. See what is the Ten of Swords. I'm going to let this because I felt like it wanted to come out. Do we have one or two? Hmm. The Knight of Wands. It looks like there were some actions here that did not take off. Someone lost the motivation to act or there was a situation that ended. What is that Ten of Swords, please? One more. That I said, oh, you guys didn't get the Three of Swords, and there's the Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this, you're over this pain, though. I feel like you're done. You made a decision here um, to get out of a situation that was painful or with interferences. You just decided this is it. I cannot do this any longer. The Queen of Cups is coming here. Facing you in this decision. One more. Seven of Cups. Venus in Scorpio. It's like someone that is has all these emotions. All these feelings. It's like again water. Swords and water here. One more. Yeah, there's been a lot of burdens, a lot of burdens. The King of Cups is you and someone else here that have a strong emotional bond. You both want to talk to each other. But again, I feel that there's too many emotions involved. There's too many feelings involved. And there's still that burden here that is carried. With two tens, it's like, what do we have to let go? And what do I need to face here with this person? Or when it comes to all these emotions, you're feeling like something has to hand here. What is the world? One more. The Queen of Swords. I, I keep getting that someone made a decision here to, to a very hard decision to close something, to close the chapter. That's very much your energy there as well. I'm connecting strong with the feminine or someone how they see the feminine. One more. Yeah. It was a decision to close a chapter in order to start something new. And it was very painful. Whatever you felt, like you have to, to let go. Wow. I look at the, what is coming towards you and it's completely positive. So you made up your mind or this person made up their mind. It's like, I'm going to close this so I can start something new. What is this page of cups here, please? One more. The page of swords, page of cups. There's a lot of 
I want to tell you here uh, what I feel. I want to express feelings. Something started here. I don't know if it was a curiosity or I, I'm, you know, I want to know here again that water and air between feelings and logic and curiosity. And I want to know, I want to send this message. I'm thinking about uh, these feelings a lot. It's like that beginning here, youthful beginning. It's just not yet mastered, but just wanting to, to look at it and wanting to express feelings with you and someone else. Some of you may be dealing with a soulmate or someone you have known before. What is the two of swords? One more. The two of swords, we have the will of fortune there and the strength card. You are waiting for someone here. Some of you also like need feel like you need to be financially well and abundant. But this crossroads is like, do I resist it? Do I go with the flow? Is there's your pride one moment? I cannot be vulnerable. I have to show strength and power. And the next is like, but is this destined? Am I going against you? What is destined? That's where the crossroads you feel like, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to leave it here and I'm going to see what happens. You seem very much that you're not going to have an answer here. That's your thought. Again, what you think possible that I don't know what to do. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to wait there and see what happens. What is the three of cups? Again, because with the ten of swords, I feel like there is a situation that you think it's over. Something that you think it's over, but the emotions and the feelings are still there with someone. What is the three of cups, please, that is coming immediately towards you? One more. Oh my goodness. Some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, a lot of back and forth, a lot of weighing the options. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, I have um, Gemini here. I have Cancer again, I have all the, the signs, but this is saying that this good news, it has to do with something you have, you or your person has been reflecting. There's going to be some communication, especially Mercury and Mercury here, Mercury and Cancer, Mercury. This has been like, finally, you know, there's some type of coming out of this hermit mode or solitude or this pathway of seeking, opening up. So that is going to be good news deciding here. This is what I want. I'm not indecisive anymore or someone is pushing you. You might find a support from a community here and opening to uh, yourself to this situation. But again, it, it's saying there's something that has been reflected and thought for a long time and someone finally feels like this is it. I know now which pathway to go. I know that, you know, I'm not going to isolate myself anymore. What is the star, please? One more. You seem financially free, independent, clear of, uh, with a perspective here. Venus in Virgo. You see yourself hopeful that you are going to be independent and well off or your person. Because again, of this good news and this change, for some of you financially here or someone has not been free financially or to pursue, you, you feel more hopeful that things are going to change here. Because remember, you have the Eight of Pentacles that you're hoping to, to go to this Nine of Pentacles, which is very free, independent, does not have attachment that, you know, stops someone from going towards what they want. Four of Pentacles externally here. What is it? One more. It's like someone is holding to this... Um, love but at the same time i don't feel like someone is ready to open up this is external guys this is what's still influencing it's like someone is like i'm holding this is mine but i don't see someone that is opening up to it mostly concerned about that as safety or you know what already i have i don't know if someone sees you this way as well that you have love but you're not opening up because of other situation security here what is this four of uh, pentacles and the ace of cups One more. I think I don't know which card. What is this four of pentacles and ace of cups, please? One more. 
the king of cups yeah well there's a power struggle there's that eight of pentacles so someone is concerned about um really their material wealth here or their stability or they, they have to have other responsibility again this is a person that is in love but is not opening up and again the queen of cups is coming here i'm tired i've been holding this i'm being consumed by this so you and someone both you and this person the feminine is coming as more, you know, burdened, but still understanding love. This King of Cups is ready to open up, but I feel like he's afraid. He's just holding back. That's what his external influence is here, or how someone sees you. What is the Eight of Pentacles, please, in your hopes and fears? One more. Okay, so you're hoping again with progress, work, dedication, you're going to get out of this situation that is a lot of concealment. The star wanted to come here again and hope that everything you see, we have the star and the nine of pentacles, this turn, by the way, and the eight of pentacles and uh, the star. So again, you're hoping that with work and dedication and improvement, that whatever it is here, this unpleasant situation, that is going to be worth it in the end, that you and this person are going to be together and actions towards love are going to come here. What is the Knight of Cups, please, as a potential outcome or the outcome here? Remember, guys, you have free will. You decide here how to deal with energies. What is the Knight of Cups, please, as an outcome? Which the Knight of Cups is nice, by the way. One more. Oh, my goodness. I said it's nice. <laughs> Step four of pentacles here at Crossroads. Are you how you see something here i cannot do anything i cannot open up you know it's going to lead again to actions towards love or someone here that is not anymore at crossroads or torn apart between their heart or what do i do it's like he's saying for some of you a new beginning when it comes to love again because you're closing a chapter here but it's that cup that was here with the page of cups just thought and I'm, I'm, I'm expressing it. I'm curious. What do I do? How do I send this message? What do I say? Do I accept it? That was in the past. It's just a lot of messages and, you know, learning and wanting here to know. The Knight of Cups is actually actions. It's like someone that feels like I'm going towards it. It's like I feel happy. Remember, there's some news here that move you forward. It may be through friends, communities, in, invitation here. Your attitude seems very positive. I'm independent, self-sufficient. I know what I need to do here. So again, the potential outcome regarding whatever it is, this painful ending and interferences and this Queen of Cups um, full of love is telling you that is love. Actions towards love, opening up, believing, having faith and going towards your true happiness. I really hope this resonates with you guys. As usual, in the extended, we will see what's going on with your love life. If you're interested, you can find the link in the description box below. Thank you. Bye-bye.